Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Easy Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this creative animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's go to the Choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Titles of Action. So we will get this kind of grid over here. Now I'm going to select my Rectangle tool and make sure that you are not going to choose any fill and stroke width. I'm going to choose 5 pixels or let's say 4 pixels only. And by holding Shift, I'm going to create one rectangle like this. Okay. Now select this shape layer, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this. After that, go to the Shape Options again and choose your Ellipse tool. And by holding Shift, I am going to create one ellipse like this. Press Ctrl Alt Home again. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this. Now let's zoom out a little bit and select your Pen tool and from here to here I'm going to create one stroke like this select this stroke press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it press r for rotation and let's rotate it on 90 degree like this now let's make this composition to fit like this hit u so uh, basically this is our main thing right now then right click new and I'm going to create one null object Select this null object, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this or you can scale it like this also so we can easily navigate each and everything. Let's select this, hit enter and let's call it as position. Basically this is gonna control the position of each and every one like this. Then I'm going to select this rectangle again and I'll hit Ctrl D and I'll bring this layer at the bottom. Hit enter and let's call this as mask and hit OK. And if you want then you can change the color of this one to red one or a red one. Let's choose yellow one so we can understand that this is gonna be my mask. And now we will select this rectangle and let's click on this icon so we can only see this rectangle over here. Let's go to the contents, go to the add menu and I'm going to choose trim path. Go to the trim path and let's create one keyframe at the offset. Zoom in a little bit and let's, uh, sorry, uh, we will create one keyframe at the offset first. And then uh, end property as you can, can see it's 100. So let's make this 10 only. And now we will bring this offset a little bit backward. Let's choose minus 18. Select this, hit control D to duplicate it hit U so we can see that offset and now we will bring this value up to here which is plus 71 so we will get something like this or let's make this 72 okay select this hit ctrl D to duplicate it hit U and let's increase this value again to so let's say 162 select this hit ctrl D hit U again and let's increase the size of this one again like this okay hit u and u again and let's delete those keyframe we don't want that and hit u and now let's disable these things all of them again now let's select this topmost layer which is the stroke and in stroke width i'm going to choose one pixel select the second one also choose one pixel select this one and also make this one like this now as you guys can see we have one mask layer over here for the mask what i'm gonna do I'm gonna select this stroke and I'm gonna cancel it and I'm going to choose black color of fill so we will get this kind of stuff now let's select all of them and we will make it apparent with this position okay so if I select this null object and if I press P and let's choose V uh, for selection tool and if I move this as you guys can see with the help of this null object each and everyone is moving right now okay so this is for this one 
now we will select our text tool and we will type our text i'm going to type focus let's select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center uh, font i have chosen the poppins font and as you guys can see uh, i have increased the distance between uh, the alphabets which is totally up to 500 so make sure to type 500 over here like this and go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and let's decrease the size a little bit like this okay and let's select this text layer go over here and let's change the color to orange and let's bring this downwards and let's lock this layer now now right click new and create one adjustment layer hit enter and let's call it as blur and hit ok and move this after this focus and before this mask select this adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply gaussian blur effect in search bar type blur effect only and over here you will get this gaussian blur and simply double click to apply and blurriness let's make this 50 like this now select this adjustment layer press f4 uh, so we can see those options and choose alpha inverted matte like this so now if i select this um, null object and if i rotate it as you guys can see this is gonna focus like this and if you want then you can change the blurriness and you can increase the blurry value also let's make this 70 also select this mask over here and apply gaussian blur effect for them also and choose 40 pixels like this and if you see this uh, we will get something like this so yep this is how we can create this stuff now let's select this text let's go to the animate menu and choose position property and let's bring this downwards like this go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start zoom in a little bit go to around 1.20 frames and let's make this 100 like this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this okay then go to the add menu go to the property choose blur and let's make this blur value 50 go to the add menu go to the property and go to the position and let's uh sorry not position actually but we will go to the tracking amount and go to the tracking and let's decrease the tracking value like this again go to the add property and choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero like this so we will get this kind of animation okay now uh, let's select this positional object press p for position create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's move this over here then go few frame forward let's move this over here go over here and so basically we are creating some random animations like this like this go over here and move this over let's say over or let's say properly at the center yeah okay so if you see this we will get something like this and select those keyframe and hit f9 okay so we'll get something like this and if you want then you can select this stroke as you guys can see at this point this is quite uh, not look good so let's select this shape press s unlink this and let's increase this on this axis select this press s and let's increase this on this axis again okay so if you see this we will get this kind of focus animation over here now right click new and again create one null object hit enter and let's call this as extra like this and now i am going to select this 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 make sure to hold control uh, all of these layers are parents with this position so those who are parent with this positional object we will deselect this like this mask and we will make it uh, also select this positional object so basically we are selecting this three layers and we will make it apparent with this extra like this okay and right click uh, or we don't need to create any null object over here so let's select this extra press p uh, or s for scaling option create one keyframe r for rotation create one keyframe and hit u go to around 1.20 frames and create one keyframe again go to the start let's make this minus 90 
so it will rotate it like this and let's increase the scaling option like this and select those keyframe and hit f9 so we will get this kind of rotation animation over here by holding alt you can move it to up to two seconds also and if you want then you can select this text and you can bring this a little bit over here so it will start to animate a little bit uh, later like this also uh, right click new and create one adjustment layer and also apply gaussian blur to that adjustment layer hit enter let's call it as extra again like this and let's make the blur value to 40 and create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this blur value to 0 select those keyframe and hit f9 so if you see we will get this kind of animation over here also like this now uh, after that as you guys can see we have this corners over here so for that what we can do we will go to the again contents if you see in contents we have one trim path but we can also add multiple trim paths to any shape layer so let's select this go to the add menu and we will select this trim path so as you guys can see this has created second trim path let's go to the trim path and let's make this zero and we will create one keyframe we'll go to around 20 frames and we will make this 100 and select those keyframe and hit f9 so now select this trim part 2 hit ctrl c to copy select all of them and hit ctrl v and hit u and hit u so we can see all the keyframes as you guys can see we will get this animation over here also so all you need to do simply select all of these four layers of trim part let's move them over here hit page down button two times move this over here again two times move this over here again two times and let's move this over here so we will get this animation a little bit later like this okay so this is how we will get this focus animation and now uh, what you can do simply select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call this entire um, animation let's call it as animation only and simply hit ok then press p for position alt click on the stopwatch apply wiggle expression on it and type uh, let's say 3 comma 3 like this so if you see we will get this kind of a little bit of wiggle effect also in this animation okay and let's press n so now if you see this animation we will get something like this okay now press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's move this over here go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect and simply apply this gradient ramp and go to the radial i am going to choose move this black stuff over here and this white stuff over here like this okay and instead of pure white i'm going to choose a little bit of grayish color so we will get something like this okay and let's go inside this you can select this focus text hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this text press s for scaling option and let's increase the size of it you can go to the character menu let's delete this fill go to over here and choose stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose one so we'll get some extra text over here also so yep this is how you can create this kind of animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned